In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the information on pages Excel 54 and 55, in which we're going to be changing the font and font size. A font is the name uh, for a collection of characters, which is letters, numbers, symbols, and punctuation marks, with a similar specific design. The font size is the physical size of the text, which is measured in units called points. As in Word, a point is equal to 1 72nd of an inch. Now the default font and font size in Excel is an 11 point calibre. And if you would take a look on page of Excel 54 in your textbook, you'll see that table C1 will actually show you some different fonts and some different font sizes. Now you can change the font and font size of any cell or range using the font and font size list arrows. The font and font size list arrows appear on the home tab, and of course that's right up here in the font group uh, on there. Of course they also appear on the mini toolbar, which opens when you right click a cell or a range. Now with our insertion point, or with our cell here uh, selected as A1, we want to go through and look at step one and it tells us that we want to click on the font list arrow and of course that's up here where it says Calibri right now and of course it tells us that we want to scroll down this list uh, on there and of course this is an alphabetical listing of all the fonts that are available on our computer now you can always download some additional fonts and some font packs and everything to get additional fonts of course we want to scroll down until uh, we get to the T's and what we're going to do is, is that we're going to select the Times New Roman, which we see that right up here, and uh, there's Times New Roman. Once we see that, we want to click on that, and of course we'll notice there that the font in cell A1 is going to change to Times New Roman. Now, of course, notice that the font names on the list are displayed in the font that they represent uh, on there. So, of course, we see here that uh, there's this right here, and there's the Times New Roman course a quick tip on here when you point to an option in the font or font size list the live preview will show you the selected cells uh, with the option temporarily applied so once again if you want to see what it looks like before accepting it you can just point to it and it will show you uh, in the spreadsheet uh, what it's going to look like if we go now to step two it tells us that we want to click on the font size list arrow. So we're going to click on where it says 11 right here, and we're going to click this down pointing arrow. And it tells us that we want to scroll down or point our mouse pointer until where we see 20. And there's an example once again of the live preview because notice that the font uh, will expand as I go up in the numbers and it shrinks as I go down the numbers here. And once again, that's a temporary view of what that looks like. But we're going to click on the number 20. So we've increased the font size. Uh, on there uh, so that the worksheet title appears in a 20 point Times New Roman and of course the font and font size list boxes on the home tab it will now display the new font of Times New Roman and the uh, correct font size information of 20. Now if I would click somewhere else you'll notice that it switches back to the default but if I go back to the cell A1 there's where the Times New Roman and the 20 appear. Now, of course, a quick tip on here is that you can format an entire row by clicking the row indicator button to select the row before formatting it. Or you can select an entire column by clicking the column indicator button, button before formatting. And those indicator buttons, uh, the row indicator buttons are these where it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I wanted to select an entire row like this, all I'd have to do is click on the 2 and notice that it selects the entire row. If I want to select an entire column, for example C, all I have to do is click on the C. Uh, so that's a quick way of selecting all the information in a column. If we look on step 3, once we're back here in cell A1 again, it tells us that we want to click on the increase font size button uh, twice. And that's in the font group, and that's for this larger A with an up pointing arrow. And of course, if we put our mouse pointer over it, there's the quick tip of increase font size. And it tells us we want to click on this twice. When we do that, it increases it up two points each time we click on it. So now the font of the title has increased up to a 24 point uh, size font. Step four tells us that we want to select the range A3. So we go here to A3 and we want to go to J3. So we're going to select all these titles right up, or all these labels right through here. 
Once we have that, we want to right click on this. And of course, when we right click on it, there's our mini toolbar that appears. And we want to click on the font list arrow here. So where it says Calvary, we want to click on this. And of course, the mini toolbar, remember, includes some of the most commonly used formatting tools. So it's great for making quick formatting changes. However, uh, of course you'll notice on here as well, it does have the live preview. So uh, that's another benefit. Uh, you get all the wonderful benefits of the live preview and everything else just by selecting it and right clicking it. Of course, once again, it tells us that we want to scroll down again and we're going to click on Times New Roman. Now, of course, you can use your wheel on your uh, mouse to scroll down or you can grab the scroll box here and you can click and drag it or you can click on the uh, down pointing uh, arrow here at the scroll box and you can scroll down as well. But we're going to go down until we see Times New Roman and there it is and we're going to click on that. Once we click on that, of course notice our mini toolbar is still up and going and of course now we want to click on the font size list arrow and we want to change this to 14 points on there. Now, of course, the mini toolbar will close when you move your pointer away from the selection uh, on there. Now, of course, to do that, you can just click somewhere else, and of course, now I'll notice that the mini toolbar has disappeared. Now, compare your worksheet to what you see here. Now, of course, notice that some of the column labels are now too wide to appear fully in the column, and of course, it kind of looks like they've been cut off. Now Excel does not automatically adjust column lists to accommodate cell formatting. And that's where you have to adjust the column lists manually. And we'll do this later in this lesson. Now I did it when we did the formatting for the numbers. Of course notice how all the numbers were able to see that. But however when we make these other formatting on there such as the font, font size and everything, it doesn't make those changes. Of course a quick tip on here for us is that to quickly move to a font in the font list arrow, we can actually type the first few characters of its name. So instead of using those scroll bars that we were talking about a second ago, we could have just started typing T-I-M uh, on there and it would actually took us to the Times New Roman. Uh, go ahead now and uh, on step six it tells us to save our work. And let's take a quick uh, look on page Excel 55 where it talks about inserting and adjusting online pictures and other images. Now you can illustrate your worksheets using online pictures and other images. Office.com makes many photos and animations available for your use. To add a picture to a worksheet, you just click on the Online Pictures button and the Illustrations group on the Insert tab. So if we take a quick look at that, we click on the Insert tab, and there's the Online Pictures button. And of course it brings up this little pop-up box here, and of course it's going to load uh, the Office.com clip art, or you can actually search the internet for this as well. Uh, we're not going to add any images right now, but we'll just uh, talk about this a little bit more on here. Uh, of course here is where you can search for online pictures or clip art uh, in Office.com. Uh, or through the Bing uh, search engine, or also on your SkyDrive by typing in one or more keywords uh, related to your subject in the appropriate search text box. Then, of course, you can click on Enter, and of course it says, for an example, pictures that relate to the word house in a search of office.com uh, will appear in the office.com window. Now, of course, when you double-click the image you want in the window, the image is inserted at the location of the active cell. Now, to add images onto your computer or computers on your network to a worksheet, you have to click the Insert tab on the ribbon and then click on the Pictures button. So, if it's already on your computer and you're wanting to upload a file, you have to click this button here. And, of course, that will take you to uh, the place where you can actually upload an image uh, that you have saved onto your computer. Now, uh, then you have to navigate to the file that you want, and then you can click on Insert. Now, to resize an image, uh, the easiest way is just to drag any uh, corner sizing handle, just like you did in Word. Uh, and, of course, to move an image, you have to point inside the clip until the pointer changes to a four-headed arrow with a mouse pointer inside of it and then you can click and drag it to a new location. And that concludes the information that's on pages Excel 54 and 55. Uh, you're ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to be changing font styles and alignment.